Hello everyone. Welcome to my PC Tips YouTube channel. My name is Michael Schofield and she is Dr. Sarah Tancredi. In today's video, Sarah will be teaching how can you play any web video, clip, movies and VLC media player. Over to you Sarah. Thank you Schofield. So I'm here to guide you guys that how simply can you play web video in VLC media player. The purpose of playing web video in VLC that you can have control on variety of things, just like skipping forward, pausing with keyboard and changing audio for dual audio movies. So get ready for it. Wait Sarah. Sorry to interrupt you. So if you guys haven't subscribed to our channel, then please press subscribe button and tap on bell icon. Let's begin with Google Chrome. Just open Chrome web browser in your PC. Type, send, to, VLC, and search on Google. You will see send, to, VLC, extension for Chrome and first result. Just click on it to proceed. I will provide the link in description of this video. Click on add to Chrome button. Select add extension button to proceed installation of extension. Once installed, you will see, send a VLC media player has been added to Chrome. Let's add this newly installed extension, to main bar so we can access it quickly, by clicking on pin extension icon. Click on to send a VLC icon, which we just pinned to main bar, so we have to perform one last step, in order to make this extension work flawlessly. Now, follow me by clicking on, click here to download the package. Once clicked, you will be asked to save the file, and you can download it anywhere you want. You will see file will start downloading, and you have to wait for few seconds, until download finishes. Once file is downloaded, just click on it to open, and you will see couple of files inside zip file. You have to unzip files or extract to a folder, anywhere in your computer. It's not required to extract these files, into a specific folder. You can extract these files any location, because we have to run it, for creating some registries, which requires to make this extension functional. In my case, I will be extracting these files, in drive D, into a folder called send to VLC, so I can access it easily for once only. Now we have to go to the folder, where we just extracted these files, using Windows File Explorer. You will see install.bat file there, just double click on it, and you will see command prompt with a message, application is ready to use. Now, press any key from keyboard to continue, get back to Google Chrome web browser, in one last step page, click on check connection button. It will result to a green check pop-up message, at right bottom of browser, which means everything went smooth. Here comes the final part, but for some of you it won't be required, we have to ensure that VLC player path is correct, if you have installed 32-bit VLC so this step is not for you, but if you have 64-bit VLC, then you have to ensure its path is correct in send to VLC extension. Let's find the correct path of VLC media player, open start menu, type VLC, then right click on it, and click on open file location. You can clearly see, my VLC media player is installed in program file without x86, while another end, send a VLC extension has program file with x86, so all we have to do is, just erase or remove x86 with brackets and then click on save button. That's it, we are done with installation part, now it's almost time to test this plugin. Closing unnecessary tabs. Let's begin our first test, it's a Bravo portal website. We will try to play a movie and send it to VLC Media Player using the extension. And see if this is working or not. Let me choose one, I guess, I'm going with Megamind. Once you see, video is started and let it go for a couple of seconds, then simply click on, send to VLC extension and you will see the real magic. Bingo! Here we are. The process went smooth, and our plugin is working absolutely fine, with no issue. Let me pause video and quickly give you guys a glance of movie, and to ensure not being accused of copyright by YouTube. I'm scared of it. Ha ha ha. So it was eBravo, now we will test it with some other site, how about going with YouTube? Okay, let's give it a try on YouTube, and see how will it react. And you 
OMG. Almost a strike. Ha ha ha. So now we have reached a bad part of this tutorial. I could have skipped this part, but it would have been cheating or injustice. The bad part is, in some of videos this extension won't work, even you click on send to VLC, the video won't be sent. As you can see, this video from YouTube is not playing on VLC, God knows or the author knows why. But you guys don't need to worry, it's just a video, we can play many other videos using this extension, maybe it's YouTube sharing policy thing, which is not letting this video to reach VLC, cause you can see other YouTube video will work with no issue. So let's move to another YouTube video test. Let me choose this voice global video and see if it's working. See, I told you guys that it will work. Now, let's have a glance on this video. You know the drill, pause it, then jump forward to timeline. So YouTube test went successful. Now it's time for Big Break, the streaming website. I have chosen Prison Break, a masterpiece. And as many of you guys don't know that me and my colleague, Michael Schofield played in this series, Bingo! Here are we again. This plugin is working on streaming site as well. You know the drill, blah blah blah. Pause video, skip forward frames. Ha ha ha. So method for Chrome browser just ended here. Now I'm gonna show the process for Mozilla Firefox. To be honest, process is pretty same, but I will quickly give a guide here. Open Mozilla Firefox web browser. Type send to VLC and Google search there. In search result, you will see a result with URL, addons.mozilla.org, simply click on it to proceed. Click on, add to Firefox button, then again click on add prompt button to initiate installation process. Once installed click on OK got it button. Ensure the VLC media player path or location is correct, as we did in Chrome method, just removing x86 from program files and extensions options. Press save. And now, we will test a YouTube video in Firefox, to check whether plugin is working or not. Hmm. Let me choose another video. Schofield. Wouldn't you mind to help me here, for choosing a video for test? Why not? It will be my pleasure to help you out with this tutorial, after all I'm the savage guy here, you know that right. I must say, this BBC video. Ha ha ha. Yeah thank you Schofield, you are very kind and nice. So viewers, here we go again, as the video successfully sent to VLC Media Player using the plugin in Firefox web browser. I'm afraid to say, that's it for today's video tutorial. If you enjoyed this video then hit like, have any question in mind then simply leave a comment below. And last but not least don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching, goodbye, and take care.